Hi Pisces, I will be doing the six card intuitive spread for you for the month of January. Just want to say thank you to everyone that has been liking, sharing and subscribing. Also just want to say I hope you had a lovely new year and we'll get straight into it. Pisces, genuine. Okay, so first from the top left, we have the Fool card, and the Fool card is a new beginning. <clears throat> now, this could be in love. This could also be in work. I feel as though there's an opportunity that will be presented to you, and it will make you feel like you're walking on cloud nine, because here you are. You're just so happy in your element. You're unaware of everything else that's happening around you. I feel as though sometimes when we have the Fool card, we could be playing the Fool I feel as though you're not, you're, you may be a little bit ignorant. I feel as though it, you might be very excited about it, but at the same time, you could be there's some sort of ignorance or just playing the fool, so to speak. I feel as though you need to uh, check the fine print, look at all your options. Of course, it's exciting to have something new presented to you. And of course, you'll be overwhelmed and ecstatic, and that's perfectly fine. You're entitled to those feelings. However, I would just advise as a cautionary measure to stay grounded if you can. But the Fool is, is a positive card. It's a new beginning. It's you standing on the precipice here. You've got direction. You've got opportunity. You've got the world at your feet. You know, you've got your little bag that's packed here. And you're ready to go. You're ready to sail. You're ready to move on and, and undergo this new beginning and make all the changes that you need to. So it's this is a really good outlook, outlook for January 2018. Again, just a reminder here to not get too ahead of yourself with the fool because he he is at the top and it's a long way down <clears throat> to fall. But if this is regarding a love situation, I feel as though you could be made the fool in some sort of love situation. It could be that your partner uh, <clears throat> has communicated something to you, has left you uh, to go overseas, has caused some sort of conflict, has said spiteful words to you, and you've been sort of made the fool. This could also indicate there's someone else uh, on the cards for this person, for your partner, and in turn, it might leave you out in the cold for a little bit. Or there's something you're not knowing about a partner and you've been left to play the fool in a, in a way because you do have the Three of Swords here, which is conflict in love, and you do have the Two of Swords. You're, you're in dual. Uh, you're weighing your pros and cons. You're in a dual state of mind here regarding a person in your relate um, in your relationship sector of your life. But moving on, we have the Two of Wands, and this is beautiful. This indicates travel. This indicates that you're planning a trip, or you will be presented to go on a trip somewhere warm, somewhere coastal, somewhere in a different city, state, or foreign shores. And I feel as though there's this opportunity that will come to you, you've been wishing for and wanting for, which is indicated by the Nine of Cups. This opportunity will be coming from overseas. So if it's regarding work, I feel as though you may be offered a job that has other branches. The company has many branches overseas or is offshores. It may be a job in a different country, city or state. And you will be quite overwhelmed with this and just ecstatic and just sort of lost, lost in a moment here. But the Nine of Cups indicates that this is a wish card. This is something you've been wishing for. So if you have been wishing to go overseas and start a new job overseas, live overseas, this may be the time to do so. This could indicate not just January. This could be the first, say, first quarter of the year also. But it's a beautiful start to a new year. It indicates you will be planning a lot of travels in January, getting this opportunity to go overseas if this is a partner that's coming in for you. I feel as though this is a, a partner with a foreign background, or you may meet this person overseas. But you're very, uh, you're you're very intuitive this month, indicated by the Queen of Pentacles. But you're really concentrating on your hopes, wishes, goals, and dreams this month, and this is perfect. This is this indicates the theme for the year. And if Jan if this is what you're thinking about in January, then the rest of the year you'll be concentrating on these on bringing to fruition these things that you've been hoping for, these creative pursuits you've been working on, getting your work acknowledged to an online audience, a worldwide audience, that's certainly possible. And here the universe is listening to you because we have this man with all his cups here. All the cups are lined up. You just need to pick and choose what it is that you want out of life. And I feel as though this will be coming to you 
uh, and it will bring you an abundance in your physical realm, which is indicated by the Queen of Pentacles. He, she sits, she's got money in her hands here. There's opportunity. She has a rabbit here. Rabbits are known to be quite lucky. She's got a beautiful, lush, full garden here growing with a lot of beautiful roses and flowers here. So there's a lot of opportunity coming to you. January appears to be quite a strong month for opportunity uh, overseas, opportunity in love. But I'm seeing more it's opportunity to do with work and creative pursuits as opposed to love. I feel as though love might be conflicting this, this month for you. But Queen of Pentacles is someone in a work situation who is acknowledged for her work. Uh, you know, she's the queen to the king of pentacles. So this could be an earth sign that's coming through for you. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Well, you have all the, you have all the signs here. You've got fire. You know, there's water behind you here, in, behind her here in the two of swords. But this could indicate swords are air. So there's an air sign you may be dealing with or an earth sign that brings you this, this new opportunity or a fire sign. The fire sign may represent an opportunity coming to you from overseas. This fire sign could be living overseas and present an opportunity for you that requires you to travel or go to foreign shores. But the queen of pentacles is someone that will reap a lot of rewards here from this opportunity. Whatever it is that you've been wishing, hoping, praying for, as much as you'll play the fool, it will bring you a lot of... <clears throat> You, you will be in, very intuitive in this matter, so I feel as though you'll know how to negotiate, you'll know what to respond with, you'll know what to counter offer with. If this is the case, and you'll have money in your hands, Earth is a sign of the physical realm, so seeing earthly results, people, places, money, assets, things coming to you that are tangible, things that are coming to you and will present and change your physical realm. But again, you need to follow your intuition here because it's it's on it's on point. It's heightened in January, so this is important that you do this because you're holding here some sort of opportunity that will generate a lot of money. In a love situation, I feel as though the Queen of Pentacles is who's intuitive about a partner, or perhaps a bit of travel with your partner. If this is the case, I feel as though it will be a very intimate, uh, a very beautiful uh, experience for you to travel together. But at the same time, I must mention you do have the two of swords and the three of swords. So there's conflict in love here also. You may be fine. You may be, as I mentioned, playing the fool in this sort of situation. This could be a partner that makes you out to be the fool. This, this is a generalized reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. But I feel as if you are in a relationship, it will be going quite smoothly. The Queen of Pentacles here. But on the other side of the coin, there is a relationship that will... There is certain uh, Pisceans out there who will encounter this hardship, this conflict in their relationships, indicated by the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords. So the Two of Swords is... There's duality here. You're blinding yourself from something. You're blinding yourself. You're, you don't want to see the real character of a partner, perhaps. That could be it. And you're disregarding it not thinking about it not considering it an option where it might be and you may be conflicted to break up with this person or approach them and if this is the case then that needs to happen swords of communication you can't be in your head about these things it's time to you to venture out address what it is don't be made the fool and tell them how you feel it could be a third party situation which i mentioned before indicated by the three of swords here so it could be three involved three people involved in this, some sort of love triangle but i feel as though you may be hindering yourself in some way you're putting the blindfold on yourself and you're holding up the swords you're blocking something from coming to light from being addressed and whatever is whatever it is it needs to happen changes need to happen in january because there's other opportunity coming to you. Something needs to be addressed here. I feel as though in work it could be some sort of opportunity that you're not seeing, or you could be represent you could be presented with two opportunities and you're just in dual minds about it, you're in a dual mental state, you're not sure which opportunity to take. Or it could just indicate you're feeling two ways about something, you're feeling joyful, ecstatic intuitive about the opportunity and what it brings you here but you're also playing the fool you're also being quite foolish in your attitude towards this opportunity so make sure you don't get ahead of yourself queen of pentacles is someone who's very practical so you need to be practical in this 
in this opportunity on this new endeavor. So again, I would advise you if you need to talk to a partner, please do so now is the time to do this. There could be a third party situation here, your partner could be involved or someone you're seeing could be involved with someone they've met in, on a business trip, someone who's a foreign background is visiting. That could certainly be it, but we'll have a look and see what this new opportunity, I feel as though this business venture or this work opportunity or this overseas opportunity, what will it bring you? As much as it will bring you earthly, tangible results, rewards, what else will this opportunity bring you? So we have the Priestess of Good Fortune. What a beautiful card to get to bless this opportunity that's coming to you. It's going to be very, going to be very fortuitous. And here you are climbing your way to the top, indicated by this beautiful pyramid here. You've got a solid foundation and you're only climbing higher, Pisces. So good fortune is coming to you. You will enjoy a good time. Things are coming to a culmination. You may have completed something and presenting something to someone, uh, to a, a, an agency of some sort or a client or a customer or a corporation. And people will want your work. There's good fortune around you here. You will be able, you will be presented with good opportunities. You'll be placed at the right place at the right time with the right people. A lot of good fortune here. And you will enjoy yourself here. You know, here she is with, with drinks around her. She's happy. She's in her element. She's got all these beautiful spheres around her. Lots of things are happening and completing around her. And she's just basking in the glory, so to speak. So that's a beautiful opportunity to get. But I just want to see what the priestesses have to say regarding this conflict in love, this foolish behavior perhaps in love for some of you Pisceans. What needs to happen in this situation? In this uh, sort of conflict or perhaps third party situation? What is re required from you? Solitude. Again, we have swords. So the stones here, especially in ancient uh, Scotland and Celts, the stones were considered portals, uh, <clears throat> portals to other worlds, being intuitive, paganism, again also indicated by the eagle. I feel as though this is, this is a time, you have a lot of swords here, this is a time where you need to think about what it is that you really want uh, Pisces in this relationship in this sort of predicament here and solitude means you need time to retreat and reassess and be be alone be alone with your thoughts do some meditation get out with nature this is the perfect time for you to do so it will help you collect your thoughts uh, help you place direction with your thoughts and what it is that you want out of this relationship or whatever it is that's conflicting you in in your heart or your or your head whatever it is that you're hindering yourself from solitude is needed maybe it's time to take a break from this person it won't apply to all of you but to some of you maybe it's the optimal time to take a break from this person instead of playing the fool it's time to have solitude to retreat within be with nature i'm seeing because you have birds here you need to be liberated and it almost looks like an eagle here and we have a little moon. This is someone who's very creative, someone perhaps anxiety ridden also. And it's time to get in touch with your spiritual roots regarding the situation. It will help clarify a lot of things for you, Pisces. So that's that's needed for you. I hope you have a lovely month.